At the funeral service, the Presbyterian minister attacked government security policies, saying they were totally inadequate. It was at Bobby Orr's Ashley Park home off Armagh's Neary Road the detectives believe the IRA planted the deadly bomb that killed him. And today it was from the same driveway that relatives carried Bobby Orr's coffin at the start of virtually the same journey he took last Monday morning. Mr Orr had been on his way to his accountancy offices on the Mall when the bomb exploded under his car. Today the funeral was also en route to the Mall to the Presbyterian Church directly opposite Mr Orr's business headquarters. The scars of the blast were still clearly visible on the roadway where Mr Orr's burning car came to a halt and only yards away the cortege stopped briefly as a mark of respect. Hundreds of orange men paid their tributes to Mr Orr who had been treasurer of the order in County Armagh. The Reverend Martin Smith, the Grand Master of the Order, led the Orange Mourners. His Unionist MP colleague, John Taylor, a close friend of the dead man, was also there. It was the third funeral in 15 months at the Mall Presbyterian Church for a victim of terrorism. The minister, Dr Joseph Thompson, said that fact shouted out loudly as to the sheer inadequacy of government policies. And he said the security forces should be allowed to take whatever steps were necessary to establish and maintain law and order here. Dr. Thompson said it was clear the killers had local links in Armagh, and he said if the community truly mourned Mr. Orr's death, they should pass on any information they had to the police. Dr. Thompson said Mr. Orr, who was married with two grown-up daughters, was killed simply because he was a leading Protestant. The RUC have already rejected IRA claims that Mr. Orr, who resigned from the police reserve 15 years ago, was currently serving with the UDR. Mr. Orr was buried at St. James Parish Churchyard at the Moy. Three bids have been